Vidura College, Colombo, Grade 2, Mathematics, Ordering Numbers. Hello, my dear children. I know this is a very difficult time for all of us, but I hope all my children are staying safe and doing your studies well. So, today we are going to learn about ordering numbers. So, are you ready? Yes, I know you are. So, let's get started. Now, you can see there are some numbers here on the screen starting from 1 and finishing with number 8. Okay? So, if I ask you a question, are these numbers in order? Are these numbers in order, children? Yes, they are. They are starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Those numbers are in order. Now let's see the next one. Oh, what has happened? All the numbers that we had before are all jumbled now. They have all put into a box. Now you have to arrange these numbers in order. Right? So how can we arrange these numbers in order? We have to take these numbers back to the same way that we had before. Okay, so this is how you do it. Number one, you take from the box and then put it on the top. Then the next number would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now these numbers are in order. Right. Excellent. We'll move into the next one. Okay. Now we are going to order these numbers from smallest to the biggest. Right? Before we didn't have such a thing. Now we are going to order numbers from the smallest number to the biggest number. Let's see how we are going to do that. This is how we are going to do. First, I have number 43 and then I have another number which is number 12. So I know all of you know how to read these numbers and then to find the tens place and the units place because we have already done the place value lesson before. Okay, so I'm going to mark the units place first. What is the units place of the number 43? Yes, it's 3. 3, it's the units place. Now, let's find out the units place of the number 12. What is the units place? Yes, it's 2. Now, we'll find the tens place. What's the 10 place of the number 43? It's 4. 10 place is 4. Now we'll find out in the other number, the number 12. What's the 10 place of that number? It's 1. 10 place is 1. Right. Now, how to find whether the number is big or small? First, you have to see the units place. And then see what's big. Is it 3 or 2? What's big? Yes, 3 is bigger than 2. Okay, now we figured that out. We'll go to the tens place and then check what's the big number. Is it 4 or is it 1? What's big? Yes, it's 4. 4 is bigger than 1. So, the number 4 and 3. They were bigger than number 1 and 2. So, we can tell that 43 was the big number. That is the big number. Good. Now, 
I want your help to find the small number out of 76 and 23. We have two numbers here. Okay, so how to find the small number? We have to look at the units place first and then see what's small. What is the units place of number 76? Yes, it's number 6. What's the unit place of number 23? It's 3. So what's small? 6 or 3? Good, 3 is small, darling. Then, we have the tens place. We have to see what's small. So, is 7 small or 2 small? 2 is small. Then what's a small number? 23. 23 would be the small number. So, you have to first find out the small number and the big number and then only we can order. Right. Now, let's order these numbers from smallest to the biggest. Right. So, you have to take the smallest number into this white box first because we are going to order from smallest. So, you have to start from the smallest number out of the three numbers given here. And then you have to finish with the biggest number. Right. So what's a small number in this? Yes. Can you see that 12 is the smallest number out of 32 and 99? Okay. So we will take number 12 to the first place. Then what's the next smallest number? What is the next small number? It's 32. Great. Then, what is the biggest number? Yes, it's 99. Very good. Now you can see all these numbers we had are ordered from the smallest number to the biggest number. Good. Now here's an activity for you to do. Now you have to order these numbers from smallest to the biggest. Right? So you have to do this and then check whether your answers are correct. Teacher is going to put the answers here. Right? So we have to order from smallest. That means we have to start from the smallest number. So the smallest number would be number 45. Then we have number 67. And then the biggest number would be number 99. Great. Now we are moving into the next one. That is ordering numbers from biggest to the smallest. Now we are doing the other way around. We are starting from biggest and finishing with the smallest number. Right. Now let's see this. What's the bigger number? 96 we have and we have 13. Now you already know how to find the big and the small number. Okay, so what's bigger? Is it 96 or 13? Yes, it's 96. Good. Then. Okay. Now, let's order these numbers from biggest to the smallest. Now these numbers have already ordered and done for you. So starting from the biggest, finishing from the smallest. Okay, so we had 40, 29 and 99 and we start from the biggest number. So the biggest number is 99. So we start from 99 and then we put the next big number that is 40 and the small number would be 29. Okay, right. This one, this one is for you to do. Okay, so you have to do this. How to do? The same way. You have to find the biggest number first and put it in the first place and then go on until you reach the smallest number. So the biggest number is 35. The next big one would be 25. And what is the smallest number out of all of these? It's number 10. Okay, we have ordered starting from the biggest to the smallest. This is how we order numbers. You did it.
well done all right children i hope all of you understood the lesson now you all have an idea on how to order numbers so try these activities at home and make yourselves familiar with ordering numbers so until next time see you soon stay safe and healthy goodbye